In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove that annoying service overdue interval that shows up on your BMW uh, motorcycles. I think this works on just about most of these BMW motorcycles. Uh, typically, you have to take this into the dealer. There is a cost associated with it. I'm not sure how much it costs, but whatever it is, this is an absolute cheaper option, much easier. You never have to worry about taking it to the dealer to get this done, especially if you've already performed the service and you don't have to take it in. And it's just annoying that this thing continues to show up. Let me show you how easy this is. So I ordered this piece. My buddy Glenn uh, told me about this. He saw a video on this on YouTube. This is called the Unicar Scan. Uh, this is the latest version, which is UCS. I-2100. This uh, plugs in right here uh, to the computer module for the, uh, for the bike. And then you do need an Android phone. Uh, it, it connects to the app that I'm going to show you here in a second via Bluetooth. I do believe that this now works with iOS. However, I, didn't, I, saw, I downloaded the app of my iOS on my iPhone device, and it looks different than what they showed on this video that I saw online. So I'm just going to stick with the Android version, but if you have an iOS or you have an iPhone, you might be able to try it out and see if it actually works. Uh, but for today, I'm going to use this Android phone. I've had it laying around. I just connected it to the Wi-Fi. I, I downloaded the app. So that's the app. It's called Motoscan. Um, you just pick which uh, series of motorcycle you have, and you can see all the different um, options that it has here. This is an R1250 GS, so we're gonna pick that. Uh, and then I'm gonna walk you through the steps to remove that here uh, right now. So first, let's plug this in. First of all, let's shut the switch off. We'll plug it into the module. We'll turn the switch back on, and then we're gonna connect it via Bluetooth, and then I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Again, doing this by yourself, I think this cost 85 bucks. I'll leave it here on the description of the video in case you're interested. But again, just one time, I think uh, it really pays for itself. And considering how long you've got to do these uh, service intervals or these um, notifications come up, I think it's a great way to do it. The other thing I believe it also has is it's got a bunch of different uh, options and diagnostics that you can actually check out for yourself. I'll show you some of that here, and I think that's pretty cool. All right, so let me show you what that looks like. There's a, a guide here. It just sort of pulls up. You take this... Um, this plug off, and now we're gonna plug this uh, in here, uh, and then I'm gonna turn the switch on, and I'm gonna see if it uh, connects via Bluetooth. All right, so I've uh, plugged it in. You can tell right there the light is red. Turned it on, there's your service overdue. So now let's just follow the instructions here. R series. All right, we're gonna search for R1250GS. Let's see, let's just keep going through here, see if there's any other options that I'm missing. It's even got the new 1300 GS here, which is kind of cool. So this is my option right here. All right, click that. And then we're gonna go into uh, instrument cluster, yeah, allow, okay. Okay, so I have to find it in Bluetooth first, which I didn't do. That's good to know. Bluetooth, there, new device, Uniscan, pairing. Okay, I don't think, uh, I have the code for this, so stand by. All right, so I figured out what you have to do. And on the top here, there's a menu option. In addition to going to your phone's Bluetooth setting and selecting uh, the Uniscan, you have to actually go in here, into the settings, into the Bluetooth, and pick the, um, the actual app or the actual name of the device from the drop-down menu. Once you do, you can see that light turns uh, green for a link and it's automatically connected. And then it brings you to the menu here. Uh, just to show you, I'm gonna do it again here. You go right into it and then you wanna go to the instrument cluster. You wanna accept instrument cluster. Okay. And let's see, service reset, right? Reset reminder, 10,000 miles. And then set the date for 3-10-2025, let's do that. Not available in light version, not available in light version. All right, I need to troubleshoot this and come back to you here. 
All right, so I figured out what the issue was. I had downloaded the light version and with the light version, it does not give you the option. It limits what you could do in the app. You have to download the full app, which is 26 bucks. Then you can go in here like this and it allows you to do a lot more, including setting this, uh, resetting the service interval. So I'm hooking it up now, showing you one more time here, real time. You can see it uh, connected there. You hit accept again. You pick the bike, or I should say instrument cluster, and then uh, service interval, and it brings you right back to this screen. Now you can change it to whatever you want here. So I'm resetting the date here. And boom, there it is. Service interval is already gone. And I just reset it to uh, 2025. I can go back in and reset it again to a different date, whatever. So these are just some of the other options that I told you that the app has. I'm not going to mess with this today. You can actually go in here and figure it out for yourself. I may come back if I see additional functionalities that are actually useful for you and do a different video. Uh, but for now, let me tell you, this is super easy. Make sure you get the paid app. So all in, this was 85 bucks for the actual device that you need that I bought from Amazon. I'll leave the link here. And it was 26 bucks uh, for the paid app, which you need. So, you know, all in is about 105 bucks. I understand that anytime you take this into a dealer, it's going to cost you about, you know, anywhere between 50 and 75 bucks. So by the second time that I do this on my own, it's going to really pay for itself. So definitely, definitely worth it. So like I said, that's it. Super simple. Buy the device, download the paid version, take out that panel there, plug it into the unit, plug the unit into the uh, computer module connect it to the app, go into the instrument uh, go into the instrument cluster, go into the reset uh, service interval and uh, reset it to whatever you want and that's it. It instantly takes it off. Super super simple. I think it's absolutely worth it. Let me know down in the comments below. And oh by the way, check out this freaking awesome awesome seat. This is made by Saddleman and Saddleman uh, does uh, amazing seats. You can see that one on the Harley. I've got another one over there by Saddleman. And I reached out to them and asked them if they did anything for this uh, GS, and they did. Look how nice this seat is. Super comfortable, heated option, because this is uh, this has heated seats. I think that looks freaking awesome. Special thanks to Saddleman for sending this out. I'm going to do a long-term review. I just, uh, I've been using it for a few uh, rides here around town. Uh, pretty soon, I'm going on a nice long trip to Vermont, and I'm going to give you a long-term review. You're going to want to stick around for that video.